and we're going to resect this one as opposed to just ablating it. So I'm, kind of, I'm cutting the tissue just as I would uh, with a scalpel, making a nice elliptical incision. Part of the cyst that I've been able to hang on to here, we're going to create some tension, pulling all the time. So you're basically pulling and lasering. And it's the tension that actually gives you the, uh, improves your cutting ability. So the benefit of this is that uh, it will vaporize any uh, germinal cells that are there. It's also cauterizing the lymphatics. So once we get into sub-Q, there's a lot of lymphatics. And uh, that's where we actually start to run into seroma formation. So the benefit of the laser is that it, it minimizes seroma formation. It caps off uh, blood vessels and nerve root endings. And uh, so we don't have a lot of uh, post-op inflammation and pain. So we're almost through here. Just a few more. There we go. I like to laser ablate the base of uh, any mass that I take out. And uh, it's simply a matter of uh, feeling comfortable that I haven't left any germinal cells in there. So I'll kind of do a nice pass over uh, with the laser. I like to do kind of like a cross hatch. Hopefully uh, making sure that I've captured all the uh, base area. So that looks pretty good. And then what we'll do is we'll just close it uh, with uh, some staples. 